Hi and welcome to cloudwoods.net. Today we look at the top image backup software so you can make sure your whole operating system is protected. When it comes to backup, much of the focus here at cloudwoods.net is on file by file backup solutions. For example, iDrive, CrashPlan, and Backblaze, just to name a few favorites, and for which you can find the reviews either on this channel or on cloudwoods.net, but I'll leave you all the links in the description box below so you don't have to worry to miss anything. During this roundup, we'll be shifting focus a little bit to discuss the best picks for image-based backups instead. This video is slightly more business-focused as we'll be looking at solutions that can handle both workstations and servers. Heading the class is highly scalable Cloudberry Backup, followed quite distantly by Acronis Backup 12 and Handy Backup. But why should you use image-based backup in the first place? Well, most people who backup their devices are familiar with the file-based backup tools. File-based backup stores individual files and folders. You essentially tag the folders and files you want to backup and the tool handles essentially everything from there. The problem with file-based backup is that it's possible to overlook including certain files in your backup. Also, while some file-based backup services automatically backup all files of a certain type, for example, documents, photos, videos, other files, like system files, are not backed up. And I mean, that's really important for businesses because you don't want to like rebuild your entire system in the case of a crash or other issue. And image-based backups also means faster recovery because everything is recovered in an instant. So for this video, we've looked at several features that are essential for an image-based backup solution. This is just a small abstract as to what we've considered and you can find more in our in-depth article that I'll link to you in the description box here. So cloud storage is one of the main features we want our solutions to have because storing files on a remote server is beneficial when disaster strikes on your business premises. Also, you don't want to be limited in terms of what cloud you choose. For example, Amazon, Azure, Google Cloud, all should be supported. The more, the better. Barometer Restore is quite important for businesses as well because it allows you to restore to a drive without having to preload the operating system or software. Then we looked at if we could restore an image to a cloud virtual machine, for example, Windows Server to an Amazon EC2 instance. Obviously, we looked at smaller features like compression, scheduling, and encryption. So without further ado, let's look at our top candidates and, their, and what they're good at and what they might miss here and there. So Cloudberry Labs got its start in 2008 with Cloudberry Explorer, a free file manager. And a year later, Cloudberry Backup was introduced, which allows for automated backup of files, folders, and system images. Rather than building and running its own data centers from the start, Cloudberry designed its software to integrate with Amazon S3. Throughout the years, the company has added more and more integration partners beyond Amazon. Today, Cloudberry lets you integrate with over 20 different cloud storage services and you can pick anyone you want, essentially. Besides Amazon S3, popular choices include Amazon Glacier, Azure, Google Cloud, Rackspace, to name a few. But there are many more, including low-cost options like Backblaze B2, which is a relatively new contender in the cloud uh, storage field. Let's look at the pricing real quick. Cloudberry isn't a subscription service. The cheapest edition is a workstation backup for Windows, Mac, or Linux, each of which costs $29.99 per computer. Unfortunately, the workstation software only does file-based backup and not image-based. Hopefully, that's something Cloudberry Lab will fix since image-based desktop backup at that price would only increase the distance between the best Windows Server backup service and the rest of the contenders. You can, however, do image-based workstation backup with a pricier but more popular Windows Server license. Cloudberry also has licenses for SQL Server and Exchange. Then there is the Ultimate license, which includes essentially everything. And here's a pricing overview of their software, but you can also check our article too, which I'll leave you in the description box below. 
What you have to keep in mind though is that with Cloudberry, you have to pay for your storage costs from whatever vendor you're choosing. But prices per gigabyte and month are falling, but $20 per one terabyte of storage is realistic right now. Setting up an image-based backup is easy. Just click the image-based button in the top left corner of the application. Cloudberry Backup will launch a wizard to walk you through the process, which requires only a little technical aptitude. Part of the process includes connecting Cloudberry to your cloud storage service of choice. You'll need to log in to your cloud storage to generate access keys and plug them into the wizard. Then select the drive or partition you want to image. You'll also set a schedule and encryption settings before the backup begins. Cloudberry Backup protects data in transit with secure TLS encryption tunnels to prevent eavesdropping. Beyond that, as a cross-platform product, the degree of security you get with Cloudberry depends mostly on your integration setup. Most cloud, st cloud storage services provide some level of server-side encryption. Some also give you the option of setting up a private encryption key for added security. With a private key, encryption and decryption always takes place on the client sites so, so your files are maximal protected. Support is run through the uh, Cloudberry Lab support portal. The portal includes links to a blog, dedicated knowledge base, FAQs, and help documentation. Towards the bottom of the page, there also support all articles covering a range of subjects. The knowledge base has a search feature to help find articles more quickly, which includes uh, troubleshooting uh, guides for various problems, and if the wealth of support documentation doesn't contain the answer you're looking for, you can open a support ticket to get help. Our interactions with the Cloudberry Lab support have always resulted in a very fast turnaround time, often uh, with the response arriving in just an hour or two, which is excellent. So let's hop on to our second place, Acronis Backup 12. If you want something more simple than a cross-platform backup solution, Acronis Backup 12 offers business class backup package with Acronis' own cloud storage service. That means you won't have to shop for cloud storage through another service. It also means less flexibility than you get with Cloudberry Backup. I found Acronis particularly easy to use and I was impressed by its broad platform support which covers 16 different systems. You can even back up Android and iOS devices, though there is no image backup for these devices available. Pricing is quite a bit higher than Cloudberry, but we like the fact that you can choose between a subscription fee or a lifetime license. Because Acronis includes storage into their offering, you'll have to pay for that too, starting from $25 per month for 250 gigabytes. That means you'll pay around $50 more than with Cloudberry for one terabyte of storage. Overall, the uh, Backup 12 user experience is very intuitive, powerful, and matches up well with Cloudberry Backup. Along with Backup 12's excellent platform support, it's a big reason why we ranked the service number two in this roundup. Acronis Backup 12 uses a browser-based cloud console and uh, you can uh, essentially just use it from just any computer to manage your backup process. You have to install a management server application on your admin computer first in order to use it. You can also install client agents on other workstations plus servers and mobile devices. Doing so will allow you to set and monitor backup processes on all of the devices you are backing up. This includes creating an image of a hard drive or a partition. From the console, you can easily set a backup schedule, set encryption options, and perform other actions. So let's take a quick look at security. Acronis Backup 12 gives you the choice of leaving your cloud images unencrypted or protecting them with AES-128, AES-192, or AES-256. The range of choices is actually quite nice. While we'd never recommend leaving your backup unencrypted server-side, AES-128 still offers plenty of security and less complex encryption, means obviously faster backups. All data is backed up uh, encrypted before leaving your machine. And when you turn encryption on for your device, you're asked to set a password that only you know. There's no option to store your encryption key with Acronis instead. 
while we recommend private encryption in most cases, an option to go with server-side encryption instead of client-side would actually be nice. The reason for this is that with client-side encryption, if you forget your password, Acronis obviously cannot recover it for you. Our third and last contender in the field is Novosoft Handy Backup. If you're looking for a simplified backup solution that uses the same cloud integration model as CloudBerry, Novosoft Handy Backup is the best we've seen. While it doesn't pack nearly as many features as our top-ranked image-based backup software, some users will appreciate the slightly trimmed down approach. Handy Backup supports backup to several cloud storage partners, Amazon S3, Google Drive, Yandex Disk, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Backblaze, among others. The options are nearly as broad as what's available with CloudBerry, though with notable absences like uh, Azure and Google Cloud. In terms of pricing, Novosoft is a bit like CloudBerry. They have a desktop license that doesn't support image-based backup. And also note, it also doesn't support cloud backup. You'll need to purchase Handy Backup Professional or a more expensive license for that. Handy Backup costs either $99 for the professional suite, which backs up uh, Windows, PCs, and servers, or $249 for the small server package, which can perform image-based backups on Windows PC, Windows Server, MySQL, SQL Server, Postgres SQL, Oracle, Hyper-V, VirtualBox, and VMware. Licenses are perpetual, so it's just a one-time cost. However, don't forget about the storage and usage charges incurred with whatever cloud storage you pair Handy Backup with. Up on startup, the Handy Backup desktop application launches a simple wizard to walk you through the process, um, essentially through backup, restore, and, and synchronization process. Beneath the header, what to backup, just select disk clone and then disk image and you'll be able to uh, choose um, the image to your entire hard drive or uh, to a specific partition. You'll then be asked to select and configure a cloud storage integration. Like with CloudBerry, you need to generate keys through whatever solution you use. After, Handy back after that, Handy Backup will walk you through a few other steps like setting up a backup type, full incremental differential, backup schedule, and uh, file compression to reduce storage uh, space needs. The underlying console basically amounts to a list of tasks that have you scheduled and a toolbar at the top to execute processes and, and create new ones essentially. So let's look at security. As with CloudBerry Backup, your data will be encrypted server-side using the encryption protocol of the cloud storage service you integrate with. One of the advantages Handy Backup is that you're not completely reliant on the encryption options of your cloud backup integration. During backup setup, you can choose to have Handy Backup encrypt your data using AES 128-bit. Encryption is performed client-side before sending your data to the cloud. This is a nice feature if you're going to be uploading data to a storage service that doesn't offer client-side or even service-side encryption like uh, Backblaze B2. So finding the right image-based backup will largely depend on your needs. If you're a system admin managing a critical production environment, you're probably looking for server backup flexibility, low cost, and great support. For those purposes, CloudBerry Backup leaves its closest competitors a distant second at best. The ability to pick and choose from over 20 different cloud storage options, including Amazon S3, Azure, and Google Cloud, is something um, our other favorites just can't do. Acronis Backup 12, while providing a stellar user experience, forces you to rely on its own uh, pricey cloud storage. Handy Backup lets you pick your cloud storage service, but doesn't have many outstanding features. For at-home, image-based backup, the story is obviously a bit more different. CloudBerry Backup has workstation backup, but it doesn't support imaging. Buying a Windows Server license for $119 just to back of your desktop is tough to swallow. We've compared several home image-based backup services on CloudWoods as well and give you recommendations in our article, which again, I'll link below. So if you like this video, well, obviously give it your thumbs up as always and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for our next episode. See ya.